7 Action News investigation, a local towing company rakes in loads of cash towing cars from a local shopping center. So why is the owner having so much trouble paying his bills? The 7 Action News investigators first exposed questionable towing practices by Larson's Towing back in January after a slew of complaints from viewers who said that they were unfairly towed. Now more complaints are coming in from people who say he stiffed them for money. 7 Action News investigator Scott Lewis joins us now live this morning via Skype. Now Scott, wasn't this company charging people $400 per tow? They were $400 cash only. They were towing up to nine cars a day from the strip mall. If you do the math, that's a lot of loot. And it raises a question. With all this money coming in, why did the owner of this company leave a trail of unpaid bills and some angry people? Conversation with other business owners said, I know uh, that's his MO. That's just how he does. That's his style of business. He gets and he looks for the smaller companies and he just takes advantage of them. I gladly pay you Tuesday for a hamburger today. Like the character Wimpy in the iconic cartoon Popeye the Sailor Man, some people who have done business with Tom Larson say he makes and breaks a lot of promises to pay. Well, he was supposed to pay every Monday and he never did. Mm -hmm. And here we are, three months later, I'm out of the money. Alex Habab says he sold Larson eight. $1,800 worth of diesel fuel and never got a dime. He said, I don't have it, and I kept on calling and calling, and then he started getting an attitude and started swearing at me. Jeff Gaden says he did $2,000 worth of phone work for Larson and came in right on the button with his estimate. And he said, oh, that's too much. I'm not paying that. You know, no way. And I said, well, you should have told us that before we started. Then there's Jim Saxton. He says he did $6,000 worth of work on Larson's boat and his wrecker. Sometimes he'd tell us the check was there. We could pick it up, call me a little later. He'd never answer the calls after that. Well, you know what, Tom? You owe a lot of people money. Well, good. Have a nice three, day, sir. Three employees you didn't pay. How about the guy at Ship Shape? What about? How about the Sunoco guy? You owe sir, 1800 done. bucks. 1800 done, bucks for diesel fuel. We're done, sir. After our first investigation in January exposing some of the questionable tactics at that strip mall, Larson's Towing pulled out of the mall, and a short time later, the company was evicted from their headquarters in, in uh, Redford Township, and court records say they were $12,000 behind in rent. I asked Tom Larson why he pulled out of the mall, and he said it was because he had a bunch of lying, thieving employees. But employees, some of them tell a different story. They, they say they weren't paid for work they did, and four of them have filed complaints with the state that are now in, under investigation. But at least for now, Alicia, there are no more tow trucks in that strip mall parking lot that'll make a lot of people happy. Absolutely. 7 Action News investigator Scott Lewis, thank you for waking up with us and giving us the latest on your ongoing investigation.